what I mean? You can put a label on a life. Put a label on a lifestyle. You know? Put a label on how you wake up every morning and go to bed at night. So still on the dietary topic today, we're talking about satisfaction, feeling fulfilled, and uh, like you gotten enough to eat and everything like that. A lot of times I, I come across the ideas of like, people are like, oh, I'm eating such and so, but I'm not feeling satisfied. What am I missing? And they'll say, well, it may be fat or it may be not enough protein in the diet. And they're like, well, these things take longer to go through your digestive tract and so you feel fuller and longer and you eat less calories and everything like that. The thing is though, my experience, because I've done my share of like low carb and everything like that, there was a time most of my diet was fat and protein. And I remember when I was going through that experiment, I just was constantly hungry. People are like, well, you're eating enough fat and protein to kill a horse. Like, how can you still be hungry? The fact of the matter is our dietary digestive system, you know, our gut and everything like that sets itself up to run as optimally as possible off of whatever diet you're feeding it. As I'm always telling people there's no such thing as a weight loss diet. There's no such thing as a, you know, a diet for X amount of ends. As far as your body is concerned and mother nature, the diet uh, serves the exact same purpose as an exercise or, or a training program. When you're doing a training program, you are literally programming your body to as, be as strong and as healthy as possible and be able to handle that exercise. Okay? So whenever you're doing a diet, like let's say you're, you're doing vegan diet, vegan diet does not say, hey body, you need to be healthier. Hey body, you need to be leaner or anything like that. The vegan diet says, hey body, you got to be healthy on a vegan diet. <laughs> you know, whatever floral in your gut you got to change, kill off some bacteria, more of others, you know, certain enzymes and appetites and all sorts of things. You literally, a diet is nothing more than just a training program to get you to handle the diet. You know, I'm very good at surviving on a vegan diet. That's what a vegan diet really does or vegetarianism, or high fat, or low fat, or low sugar, or no process, or whatever. You know, that's the whole point of a diet. So when people are like, okay, I'm not getting satisfied, what's going on is they've had their diet set up a certain way. You've got a certain amount of fat, protein, and carbohydrates in your diet beforehand, and your body set itself up for that. It's like, I'm used to having so many carbohydrates, I'm used to having so many proteins, I'm used to eating a certain way, I'm used to eating. So whenever you change it up, for at least a few weeks to a month or so, your body's gonna be like, whoa, I'm not set up for this. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not set up to run off of low carb. What the hell are you doing to me, man? You know, I, I gotta change everything around. And everybody always says, well, after a while, I got, good, I got used to it, and then I started feeling really good. Well, yeah, now you got used to the diet. You're in shape to handle the diet. It doesn't mean the diet's actually better or worse. Your body just said, okay, I guess I gotta handle this now. I'll just change it around so I'm capable of doing that. It doesn't mean it's good or what you came from was worse or anything like that. But then people change sometimes, they go back. Okay, so they, they, uh, then this happens a lot with the sugar thing. You know, they have a certain amount of sugar, they, they cut out sugar like crazy. It happened to my mom one time. She tried the Atkins thing for a while and then she was like, I had a small little Snickers bar and man, I got such a headache after that. And, she, and a lot of people would say, yeah, see, it's unhealthy to have that sugar. No, you're out of shape. <laughs> Your body can't handle that, that food anymore quite as much. So as a result, it came up with some sort of a negative outcome, some sort of a negative feeling. doesn't mean the Snickers bar was unhealthy. It means you're no longer in shape. To a certain degree, you've made yourself a wuss. You know, you have wussed out. You have made yourself a pussy when it comes to handling carbohydrates. It's what it is. This is why I'm always recommending to people have a very varied diet. You know, I don't believe in cutting things out of the diet because it makes you a wimp. You know, in that regard, in that regard, if if you said, well, all I do is, um, you know, on the bench press every every day, and then someone says, well, go run a 5K. Of course, you're gonna feel like crap running a 5K, and you could say, well, you're not in shape for running a 5K. Well, if you never eat. Uh, you know, a lot of processed foods or anything like that, and someone t takes you out and they give you some mac and cheese, you can feel like crap. No, it doesn't mean the food's bad. It means you are out of shape to handle that food. So having a variety in your diet is very key. And when it comes to that fullness and that satisfaction, it means give yourself what you're more used to digesting as far as the fat, protein, and carbohydrate balance, and then change the volumes of those and you probably want to keep the ratios about where they were before. Okay, thoughts down below to live be fit, live free.